Okay, 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 South Africa, okay, we'll have a look at this, we'll have a look now, we'll have a look at a Cape Town, we'll have a look at a third test, the series is alive. Welcome back to The Great Cricketer, brought to you by ACO, India's leading digital insurance company. I, th- I suspect Rishabh might need some insurance for the scolding that he's going to get from two of the nicest guys in cricket, Dravid and KL Rahul. Uh, Sam Perry. Okay. 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 It's contagious, like COVID. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of a bird flu thing. Mm. Uh, I didn't... I kind of well now we'll, we'll get into we'll get into like what's happening in this game but I just I like I just expected India to just at some stage just be better and just win <laughs> but it just South Africa got to say good value they've played the better cricket this game they've stuck with it they've hung in they, they and they've they've cruised it by seven wickets I woke up this morning chasing two forty well they need they need one hundred twenty two overnight yeah rain around they didn't start till quarter to four local time. Uh, and uh, and then they just chased that three down easy as a light. Bavuma runs. Dean Elgar did the business. Uh, okay, they could have chased four hundred. <laughs> it was like that, wasn't it? He goes. Well, so the first thing we've got is Elgar's captain's knock. Sensational from Dean Elgar. Uh, Graham Smith said overnight, "This is one of South Africa's greatest ever wins." Uh, and you know. Obviously, I have all of their wins in the back of my head, just ready to pull out. Yeah. I just, I'm just choosing not to do that at the moment. <laughs> but I tend to agree with Graham. Yeah, uh, <laughs> sort of like sort of. There was like 97 Wanderers, wasn't there? There was like there was 03 uh, in Joburg. Um, was there? There was that big. Yeah, there was that big one in Sri Lanka that time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, beat us probably. Uh, so. <laughs> uh, great. That's a, that's a great win from South Africa. You, as you were saying, I. Felt or figured that at some point over the you know a five day test where there's nowhere to hide that the class would finally show through from India and it never happened and when when a team is that consistent throughout the whole test you have to give them due praise uh, a lot of contributions shared around from South Africa a lot of the like I mean pretty much all the bats contributed something right Markram. Mm-hmm. Van der Dussen, second innings. Keegan Peterson, first innings. Elgar with the knock of the match. Uh, who am I missing? Yeah, got, 50, first got 50 and he was there at the end in this one. Uh, mm-hmm. And, and you know, the bowlers shared around in the first innings as well. Olafir, uh, Rabada, um, mm. uh, what's his name? Janssen with his reach with Boomer. <laughs> Butterbean Boomer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, we always yeah. want to fight on the field. Yeah. No, nah, mate, it, mate it, it's true. That, it's true. You? It's <laughs> yeah, yeah. A lot of blokes, a lot of blokes really thought they were playing for India. Uh, no, nah, good luck to them, um, mate. Uh, I hadn't thought about this before, but I guess it, on the in the context of where South African cricket is, there's there's a lot happening with their um, like with their board and shit like that, and then and then. <laughs> And then, and then, um, what's his name? Quinton de Cox. So he doesn't play one game. Forget his name. Yeah, Quinton, Quinton, Cox, Quinton who? Of, yeah, yeah, de Cox, Actually, that's his. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's I, what I, I remember. It's him. quite a, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, him leaving that sort of shocked the camp by all reports. Dean Elgar saying he was very shocked that he he did that. You look at the names in the team sheet and the squad they've gone. F- sorry, the eleven they've gone for in this game where where Jansen is batting seven. And I know in commentary, I think it was Sean Pollock, maybe Mike Hazeman has said that he's batted seven once in first class cricket and he got a pair in that game so like he look i don't think he's he's not he's not the most like munted batsman you've ever seen like he's he's decent but you know at number seven he ain't you know compared that to where de Kock was playing last last game you know it's mm. uh you look at the names in the team sheet the matchups you know and, and this and this wicket had a bit of juice in it and it still was playing tricks on day four here late um, and they it, you look in the context of wi- massive wins in global cricket this week with Bangladesh and New Zealand. That's that is the bigger upset. South Africa is not that far away from what Bangladesh is to World Test Championships, World Test Championships skeleton hiders. But um, but this is uh this is a seriously impressive win against a very good team, and uh, and it keeps the series alive. So fucking fair dues. And Dean Elgar, who now averages more than forty in Test cricket. 71 tests. He's got the captain's armband so he can talk to the referees. Um, like that's a, that's a, that's a gutsy opener's innings because it doesn't look that easy to open the batting in South Africa or anywhere for that matter. 
Yeah, great partnership at the start from uh, the start of the the day, I guess, or when when play recommenced between Van der Dussen and uh, and Elgar just got them within reach. Still sixty odd to get. You still you know number seven and number eight are still bricking it, padding up, but. Mm. Uh, and, and but then you know the best person you could ask for coming out there is Bavuma. I mean Takua drops a catch, Colton Bold tough one, right mid. Mm. Uh, mm. You 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 back Takua to take that because it's Takua. You know he's he's just he's his vibe, his energy. But didn't happen. Yeah. He can't do it all the time. And it was it was quite incredible how in the end how comfortably they achieved victory. I mean it was through no shortage of. Uh, like energy from India, they came hard, you know. Ooh, and you could yeah. tell there was good energy out there from both yeah. sides. So it was some, there was some proud South African shit. I liked it, uh, and it yeah. sets up a decider. Just, uh, just quickly, he goes on the second one. Like, did uh, did India let it slip in any way? I mean, my my view is that, I mean, the first innings you could barely separate them. There was about thirty runs between both, and then uh, good partnership between Pujara and Rahana in the second India's second innings and then they sort of threw the bat a little bit. I mean, yes, we we've discussed Rishab. Mm. But given that South Africa get these runs three down, look, mm. the game probably changes if India sets a higher target. Uh, it doesn't mean that it it would flow that way for South Africa therefore, but uh I, I think you just have to say South Africa played the better cricket throughout, you know? We're not talking about one or two knocks that changed the complexion of the game. They'll just they were just ahead most of the time, South Africa, and they held it. So, mm. uh, you know, in, yeah. India could scarcely make an inroad uh, overnight. And, yeah, I mean, great test. Ebbed and flowed. Well done, South Africa, I think. It's hard to know where the truth of the test match lies, isn't it? Because I feel like Graham Smith is right when I think about this, uh, and I'll take his word for it over mine, mm. some idiot from the internet. Um but, like, if there were fans in the stadiums, like, that, fucking the ball ring could have been rocking there, mm. you know? Like, I mean, no one goes to watch Sa- Test Cricket in South Africa anyway. But, uh, but you know, it's more of a, an idea in theory, like communism. Um, but, but uh, yeah, like, South Africa, I mean, so India probably weren't that far away. Maybe, like, if the Lord takes that catch off Bavuma and then Varane comes in and then it's, you know, like, the, then they're in, they win with a shot. And just, like, listen to the commentary when I think they hit Siraj for three fours, Dean Elgar hit Siraj for three fours, and there was there was five wides in that over as well. And they needed twenty to win, and it was like it was only twenty when there was twenty to win. It was like ah, okay, we can relax now. They still had seven wickets, which shows you the strength of the Indian team, how they can get a roll on. They're a real roll on team, India, um, and they've got really good players. So, but at the same time, I'm looking I'm looking at the scores in the game, and the teams are scoring more runs as the game's gone on. So first innings. Uh, 202, then South Africa hit 229, India hit 266, and then South Africa 243 for three. So the scores are going up in the game, even though the wickets still had a bit in it. But it's hard to... I'm looking at that second innings in India as well. Um, Pajara 53, Rahane 58, Vahari 40 not. There's, there's some runs there. And then Punt does what he does. It's very hard, or in my opinion anyway, to look at like what Punt did in that moment and think... That was that was a significant moment in the game because South Africa should have been chasing three hundred here, I reckon. Mm. Yeah, well, let's all blame one guy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Next, uh, well, it, let, yeah, I, yeah, I, I still see some people are saying the intent was fine from punt, but the shot selection was wrong. No, it was a gas taking. Like, I, he, yeah. in he's done. I understand that point. And he's made that mistake before. And you go, okay, great intent, love the vibe, the mm. energy. Just shot mm. selection needs to be better. That that was a that was a child like that was a child error uh, yes. of of gas taking of emotions getting to your van der Dusten under mm. the lid going, oh, I'm going to pump you back over your head. It was <laughs> very a very big difference between punt last year where he finished the year and then where he finishes it now. Uh, but mm. he's so precociously gifted and I'm sure he'll work it out as he gets older. You know what? I'm sure he'll bounce back. <laughs> I'm sure he'll bounce back. All right, the final one here goes the Cape Town decider. We go to a decider. Hell of a series now. Uh, India have a decision to make if Suraj isn't fit. You'd think a string ain't recovering to full um, to full strength. Mm. So mm. if it doesn't, they bring in, I think, Ishant or Umesh you know, of, of mm. Ishad or boys, Yadav. Yeah. Um, Coley will come back. 
Uh. I, I mean, I suppose he just comes in for Vahari if the other two have kept their spot. Vahari, 20 and 40 not. I mean, he was he was the adult in the room during the innings yesterday. Mm. I don't know who else he'd replace, though. Uh, and then yeah. just South Africa playing extra bat. There you go. Work with that. I don't know if I don't, I'm not sure what the what the um, char- the characteristics of the Cape Town wicket are. It may, maybe it spins more. Maybe Maharaj comes in uh, and and plays a more prominent role. Um, yeah, I mean, I I just can't. I think Coley will just come in for, for Hari. I think that's just what happens. I can't see, uh, you know, at, at, at one Test match to to for history for India. They're going to stick with they're going to stick with the stick with the old boys, mm. um, and I think it's probably Ishant will come in. I think I mean, I like Siraj is bowling. Um, he brings so much to their team. I think it's Ishant. I, I, I'd be surprised if it went for boys, but um, but yeah, again, I mean, if Jadeja was fit, maybe that'd be an option as well. But he ain't, so it's not. Uh, and South Africa, well, South Africa has now got an issue where like they've <laughs> they've won a Test match with this team. And they've played really well. Do you just go with the same eleven players? I oh, that's 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 a tough one because it's not like South Africa is fucking rich with talent at the moment. Uh, I reckon they 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 may well go again, though. I think it's a massive risk trying to win a game with Jansen batting at seven. So uh, I still expect India to just turn up and be better. But it goes to show again, it's very hard to win games away from home. I'm tipping Coley ton. Hashtag AskTGC. Shit. Thanks to Akko. Uh This is on topic. Can you cover Djokovic? I don't know who asked this, by the way. Who was this? <laughs> Quality shot. Can you cover Djokovic not being allowed in Australia? What are your thoughts? <laughs> My thoughts are Rafael Nadal's thoughts, which yeah. are, I believe yeah, in what the yeah. people who know about medicine say. I don't have a lot of sympathy for somebody who is uh, openly and proudly uh, anti-vax. I also think it is similarly true and simultaneously true that our current government has um, made a meal of it probably for political gain as well and that we don't look great on the world stage. Um, Why couldn't they have just cut him from coming in the first place? I know that there's um, there's some detail or nuance to that, but ultimately it looks looks like a bit of a political stitch-up to me. Uh, Nevertheless, I do not carry much sympathy at all for a bloke who's openly encouraged people to avoid vaccinations. Uh, that said, even the lowest among us still are deserving of rights and humanity. So um, let's see whatever fucking court they're going to says now. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope he can still play the doubles. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to some of that, like some of that, you know, some of those clips they put up from their fucking hotel room where someone drives something where the ball hits him in the yeah. ads or something. A couple million yeah. views, I don't know. That sort of stuff keeps me going. Uh, but you know what? To put a to put a great lens onto it, Pez Federer is the goat because he looks better. Oh yeah, he just hits he hits a more pure ball. He hits a cl- if, has anyone hit a cleaner ball than Roger Federer? Man, I I like. I saw Roger Federer at the Australian Open sitting behind him, like sort of great view, mm. uh, absolutely dispose of Joe Wilfred Songer straight oh, yeah. sets in, uh, it's going to be a round of 16. It's a fourth round or a round of 16. I, I think it's a fourth round. Uh, mm. And, mate, it was one of the most sumptuous displays of oh. grace and athleticism mm, I've ever seen. Mm, and like, mm. mate, this would have been 2012, 2013. <laughs> and back then we were talking about late years Federer. Like, yeah. yeah but it, oh, the, the, the grace Oof. of it. Oh, Federer Oof. is, is just ensconced in the top tier for me for just fucking yeah. hand, eye balls, rackets. Yeah. Oh yeah. Give it to me all day. Djokovic well, detention, whatever. Uh, well, mate, care. last 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 year we're now going over times. So we're talking about just fucking rigs oh, yeah. of tennis players, Sorry. but but I but, but but no, I'm no, I'm going to do it now because I I saw Nadal last year mm. uh, at the Oz Open. Oh, you talk about horses! Oof. Yeah, that's a horse. There's a, there's a, yeah. That's yeah. a horse right there. He was he was playing against some bloke. It might as well have been a fucking mannequin. Couldn't take yeah. my eyes off the rig on it. Yeah. 
<laughs> and that's our wrap of the second <laughs> test match between South Africa and India. We'll be back this afternoon for day three of the Ashes. Hashtag RCDC Fridays is already out on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash great cricketer, or join the coat tier of our YouTube membership. Um, and the third test starts um, when it starts. See you guys then. Cheers. <laughs>